Hello friends, welcome to Amit Things YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can install XAMPP on Windows 10. Firstly, let us see what is XAMPP. XAMPP, you can say a web server solution package because it comes with a package, you can say. So why we said that? Because X here stands for cross-platform. I hope you know. If you don't know, then I should tell you that cross-platform means you can run this software on multiple operating system like Mac, Windows and Linux. A stands for the Apache server. With that, M stands for MySQL, which is now MariaDB or you can say MariaDB, whichever way you want to pronounce. In 2015, the name changed to this from MySQL. P comes for Perl and the last one comes for PHP. So now this is the package through which Let's say you want to run PHP, you can easily run PHP on XAMPP. With that, you can run WordPress, Magento, PrestaShop, Drupal, Joomla and many other CMSs as well. So now we will first download XAMPP. Then we will install XAMPP. After that, we will start our server. We will learn how to start our server. in XAMPP. Now let's begin with the download. Go to Google type download XAMPP. That's it. Now click the first link. The Apache friends.org is, is the official website of XAMPP. Now you can see XAMPP for Windows is available. The current one is 7.1.32 which is for 64 bit. If you want to check the IDF system is 64 bit or 32 bits you can go to start type about in windows 10 and click about your pc now you can see device specifications the installed ram is 12 gb device name you can see and with that you can see that is a 64 bit operating system which is called x64 now we have checked that this is a 64 bit operating system now we will close it close the window now we will download it Let's download, click on download and the download will begin. Now you can see we have successfully downloaded XAMPP. Now double click and let's install XAMPP on Windows 10. Now you can see welcome to the setup, setup wizard. Click on next. So as we saw before that XAMPP is a package so all of these will get installed in it click on next now you need to install XAMPP in a folder so the folder has been created on its own so we'll click on next now click on next again now the setup is ready to install on your system windows 10 click on next now the installation begins now you can see we have successfully installed XAMPP. Now you can see the setup has finished installing XAMPP. If you want to start the control panel to run the server now, you can just go with it or we can do that later. So we will just click on finish and we will keep it same. Click on finish. Now let's check whether we have installed XAMPP correctly or not. Before that, it is saying that we have installed correctly and from here we can begin the Apache server. Click on start. Here you can see status chain detected, timing is the same and it's running. So let's say you haven't started control panel or you have you forgot that you have started it or not. To see that whether it is working or not or you have installed XAMPP correctly, go to your browser, click on localhost here, click on localhost and press enter. Here you can see dashboard is visible. That means we have successfully installed XAMPP on a system. Or you can go to 127.0.0.1 and press enter. That means we have successfully installed XAMPP on localhost. Now we discussed about XAMPP control panel. So you can stop it and we can click on cross. And now to begin with XAMPP, you need to again start the control panel. For that, the easiest way is go to C drive 
XAMPP is installed here because if you remember the path we, we have set was XAMPP XAMPP folder under C drive now we have reached the XAMPP in that in the bottom you can see XAMPP control.exe double click on it and now from here as well you can start the Apache now click on start here Here you can see status change detected running. That means we have successfully installed XAMPP. We have successfully started our server in XAMPP with XAMPP control panel or should write. So in this video we saw how we can install XAMPP on Windows 10. XAMPP, we learned about what is XAMPP. We downloaded, installed and we have also started a server in XAMPP using XAMPP control panel. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you liked it. For more videos on programming and such stuff, subscribe to Amit Things YouTube channel.